everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. So for some reason, I have a miscellaneous quest to return to the Arl. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Is there any? What is it that you need? What was that? Until next time. Okay, I just had like a weird marker for him to come back to him. Did that just never clear from something else? I don't... I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very, very pretty. Okay, well, I wanted to start with that because I thought it might be something interesting that I didn't know about because, as far as I know, we're done with most of the quests uh, in Lightrun. In fact, we're done with all of them in Lightrun. So that was just a strange thing. Um, okay, well... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Parts of Whiterun are just, like, forever broken now. Wait, what? Is this the Grey Man's house that's just, like, broken? Are you trying to return home or something? I think he is. That's annoying and weird. Alright, anyway. Um, I'm gonna do some inventory management, and then we're gonna go find the evidence that we need, so... Be back in a little bit. I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I spent way too much time looking for something specific. Hey, Maven. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. No, just because you're a dick. Um, I keep looking for that hunting room weed. And apparently there's a couple of places where it spawns, but... Um, I haven't, I haven't gone to those locations. I should just really go to the, like, confirmed places that it always shows up and I keep finding more to need. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're Thane, so we can just come back here. Absolutely no problem. Um, no one really cares. And we're looking here. Oh my god, a letter incriminating her. What does the letter say? Let's see. Now I'm showing great Wisdom and chosen you as her steward. A position befitting your character. Demands great cunning, blah blah blah. Put an asset to our operation. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well. Black Bar, that means she's. Yeah. Maven. <sighs> she's in Maven's pocket. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward. Well, let's blackmail her. I suppose you're here to extort something from me? Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Well, what is it you want? Um... So, you're an Imperial spy. Interesting. I have no strong love for the Stormcloaks, but I can't say I'm all that fond of the Empire, either. You should be in love with them. War of yours makes it difficult for a resourceful woman to advance her interests. Perhaps we can find a way for both of us to prosper from this unfortunate discovery? Or to just rat you out. It would ruin me. I have a good thing going here. The Jarl benefits from my more creative arrangements as well, though it'd be impossible for her to admit that. Layla is a simple and traditional... Is about me? ...which makes it easy to manipulate her, but impossible to regain her graces once offended. That's You're welcome it. in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Then what are we saying? I can be back here. I'm literally in the middle of talking. Really? What is it you want? You're welcome in Riften, as long as you Wait, hold on. Is it Lydia that's not welcome here? Because I'm not in combat. I suppose you're well. That's really weird. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. What kind of agreement? Sure. Um, what are we talking about? Enough to make a significant difference in the war. Suppose I'm not left much choice in the matter, am I? Uh huh. Very well. I trust a hefty purse of septums will suffice. Yeah, of course. They're taking it by wagon to Windhelm. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. 
The shipment is quite heavy and guarded by many men. Now let's pretend we never had this discussion. Thank you. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our What, you, what did you do? What you... I leave for one second. Oh, Riften guard helmets are different? I leave for one second and you're murdering people already. I just... Lydia. What? How do you do, Thane? I can't... I can't leave you alone anywhere, can I? I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I just... Ugh. Lydia, Lydia... Like, I, I, I looked back and I'm like, is he talking to me? Because I'm Thane, I'm allowed to be back here. And then when combat started, the combat music came up. But he wasn't on my compass, and I was like, "What are you fighting exactly?" Absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now. And it dawned on me, I'm like, "Oh my god!" It's just trying to. Oh, did we just return with this info? Oh yeah, okay. I thought we were gonna go to the caravan for a second there. It dawned on me that it's actually targeting Lydia for trespassing. I. I honestly didn't know, like, can NPCs get bounties? Is there a thing that can happen? I think I don't know, but... Oh my god. Excellent work. I knew you'd bring back something useful. Uh-huh. It just so happens I've got some scouts along the road. Meet up with them and together see if you can't overpower the caravan. That's what I thought. I thought we were going to the caravan. Many of my countrymen joined the rebels. Okay, that was weird. That it didn't update until I moved away. Okay, we're meeting them at Shore's Watchtower. Alright, simple enough. We take over the caravan, stop the shipment, and that definitely can help turn the tide in the war. Shipments of weapon and money are, are very important. Because then your soldiers just sort of stop caring. And that's always bad. Oh. Where are, we, where are we heading? Oh, it's Havar. I have a wonder if maybe we should call a truce with the Stormcloaks. Join forces for just a little while and take care of some of these dragons. Yeah, no, that would be great. Am I supposed to talk well, to you? Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? Pretty good. Are you just going to stay down there? Okay. Good to hear. I need this to go well. This is my first real command since they promoted me after Whiterun. Well, let's hope you don't die. You know, some nights when I close my eyes, I see the battle stretched out before me, like I'm still there. Do the men you've killed haunt you? Mine do. I don't. At all, actually. I suppose you're right. They say it gets easier. He's having some PTSD. Oh man. Never mind all that. What brings you out this way? I mean, you guys are all poised, like you already know. Really? It just so happens we've been tracking a wagon for about a day now. So that's what's in there. Coins and weapons. How do you know that? Ah, you know. That was crafty. I'm sure having a steward in the pocket will come in handy. <laughs> just go off. Lucky for us that the wagon recently had a little accident. They're stranded now, just up the road. We're outnumbered, but I have a plan. Uh huh. You got here just in time. Tell me. First, we're going to take out the sentry. Then we'll situate ourselves overlooking the camp. I, I think they know we're here. We'll infiltrate the position and get their attention, while we hit them with a barrage of arrows. With a bit of luck, we'll catch them completely off guard and leave them the odds a little. <laughs> completely off guard. If you insist, but we'll come running if it sounds like things have gotten completely <laughs> off guard. <laughs> completely off guard. Okay, they did it. <laughs> completely. Oh no! Oh, these are all storm cloaks. Oh, did they kill all of the Empire people? Oh no, Hadvar! Oh, never mind, Hadvar, you can take care of yourself, can't you? Oh my god! My god! 
<laughs> what was that about? I, I thought that they were supposed to like stay back. Oh, Starcore comment. Do I actually have one of these? I don't think so. I'll take it though. Oh boy. Ah, uh, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I guess, yeah. Alright, cool. We're done. We've reported. Did they kill all of the Imperial folks? Why did they just run off? What a weird thing to have happen. I don't... <sighs> okay. Like, legitimately confused. A little bit. Hey, what's up? Good work. I'll send some men with a wagon to collect the prize. We can use the weapons here, and I'll pass on the coin to Solitude. Yep, okay. Something to report? Your objective is Fort Greenwald. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Okay. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Sure. I knew I could count on you, soldier. And off we go to Fort Greenwald. The next few are just taking forts, by the way. So nothing, like, incredibly interesting happens. Oh, right, it's not. I'm like, where is it? Uh, Alright, where's Fort Greenwall? Aha! Uh -huh. It kind of helps that I've already discovered pretty much everything. I mean, obviously there's th locations that I have not discovered yet. Um, but not very many, to be perfectly honest. So, in fact, I think after I take this fort, I do believe it spawns that stone cloak camp. I could be wrong, but I think that's what happens. The one that I couldn't find before here in the rift. Ah, well, maybe. I don't know. Hip hip hooray! Let's do it, men! Give it your best! Killed! Just gonna fight this real quick. I've got horses to like fork this, I'm out! Oh man, I got an arrow in my head. That can't be healthy. I actually haven't asked it about the Imperial um, health insurance yet. Probably not that good, actually. I wonder if I get dental. Well, I missed. Well, we, we know how this is going to go. They're all going to die. And, uh, we're gonna take the fort eventually. You know, after a second. No, or I could whiff. Thankfully, it's fairly easy to take these forts. Especially because we're so overleveled. Um, I think it honestly would... Oh, this is a spawn point for them. That's interesting. Probably just wait here if I wanted to. Um, yeah, I mean, it's relatively easy at our level. I can see this getting extremely difficult um, if we were to do this at a low level. My, like, my goodness, we would die real quick just from the sheer number of people. And thankfully, there's no named, like, people here. Because they would absolutely be dying. We good? Okay, there's a bunch of them still here. I wish there was something more interesting for us to do. But it's literally just, like, kill a whole bunch of them. Which I guess is... Realistic, but not as fun. Oh! <laughs> I almost ran off. Hello. Goodbye. Just going through crushing everyone's skulls. 
Oh, my light armor is coming up. Oh, there we go. And we get the war hero achievement for getting the uh, Battle for Greenwall done. This is actually a missable achievement. Apparently, the this entire quest um, sometimes cannot happen. Like, if you have certain things that happen in a certain order. I don't remember exactly what they are. But it is possible to actually completely uh, miss this quest. Which I find a little fascinating. Um, the easiest way to miss it is if you do the main quest and uh, go through the diplomatic... Not diplomatic immunity. Go through the whole like peace talks thing that can happen we're actually gonna skip it so i'll just tell you guys about it completely um because we're doing all of civil war first before the main quest we will not get this quest and it'll be a whole thing that just doesn't happen there's not a lot to it and there's nothing unique you get by doing it um but if we if the war was still going on we would have to have peace talks and uh, you know basically a stay of fighting so that you know, we could all together, collectively, um, fight for... I'm going to go here and check and see if there's a Stormcloak camp. Uh, we could collectively fight for uh, Skyrim against the dragons. But, uh, as part of those peace talks, you have to essentially decide who gets what. And somebody will have to give up a piece of land. That was a dragon noise. Mmm, nothing here. Oh my god, there's a fucking dragon again. Every time I come to Serethi Farm, there's a goddamn dragon. This has happened three times now. Just land. Just do it. I'll fight you. I don't care. Just land. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's Elder this time. You wanna land? Thank you. Spend half of my stamina running up to you. Because you're an asshole. I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Don't you run away from me, you asshole. Get back down here. Thank you. Just gonna whittle away your health real quick. Bam. Goddamn dragons. I'll take that. Give me my soul. Man, Sarithi Farms have like an abundance of dragon bones in their stock now. Just because I leave most of the skeleton here. They got like a claim to fame now. They can open up a museum of dragons if they wanted to. What a weird thing. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, as part of that, you would need to, obviously, um, you can essentially give away the rift to the Empire, and if you do that, you don't have to take Fort Greenwall. There's also an opposing um, achievement and fort for the Stormcloaks, and if you give that, you know, to the opposing side, well, you know, that part of the Civil War quest no longer has to happen. And yeah you essentially skip an entire quest and therefore the achievement associated with it. So War Hero is a skippable achievement. Almost everything else in the game is not. Like, there's no optional achievements, really. Like, they're mostly just complete this and you get this. But because one of them's via an optional quest, you know? Really? The bow? Is my marksman that high that they're commenting on it? That seems weird. Taking control of the rift was a great victory. Alfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You've come a long way. I don't think we could do without you. I'm hereby raising you to tribute. Congratulations. Cool. I don't know what Here, that means. Take this gift as a sign of the Empire's appreciation. And my own. Is it another shitty weapon that I won't care? Okay, it's an Orcus shield. <laughs> I don't care. New orders? You're needed in Winterhold. Report to our hidden camp there. Okay. God be with you. I am curious. I haven't checked this in a while. Quest, general stats. Crime. 
Do I have a bounty everywhere? I have one in the Reach, and I have one in Winterhold. <laughs> um, believe it or not, there is a... Um, wow, we have to get that up to 50, too. There, there's an achievement for picking pockets and lo um, picking locks. So you, you got to do 50 of each. So we just need to pick some more pockets. That's super easy to do. And honestly, we might do that on a stream one day. Um, there is also an achievement for having a bounty in every hole. So <laughs> we're going to do that, I guess. I don't know what I have those bounties for, to be perfectly honest. Um we also have to go to jail and escape from jail once, so that'll be something that we do. I could have sworn there was Is there really no Huh, there's no like us information. I wish I could show or see like what we are uh what we are in every guild like there was a screen for that in in oblivion where it would show like you know listener of the dark brotherhood and order of the um i forget what they were the anti-vampire people and like even miscellaneous things that were only part of one quest you could still see them and it made it very interesting and fun i thought at least um but for whatever reason this doesn't have it apparently oh uh, we're gonna do that eventually um, well, you're fairly close to getting all the masks. The only ones left are part of the main quest. In fact, most things that I've put on hold, like the Stones of Baron's Eye and all that, are because of the main quest. Like, we literally can't do anything until we do the main quest for those, so. Something to report? Oh, hi. Your objective is Fort Kustov. Okay. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. So I gotta go free them. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. Okay. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. Do I have to do it silently? It be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Well, at least it's a little bit different than normal. Uh, sure. As long as the rebels are willing to die fighting the Empire, we must be willing to oblige them. That's, uh, that's morbid. Okay. So, off we go to Fort Kustav, wherever the hell that is. No, but really, the, oh, right, it's, I don't, okay. Wow, there is nothing nearby. I guess the Forsaken Cave is the closest thing. <laughs> he decided to make a fort in the middle of nowhere. It's not really, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? No, oh, I thought it was another dragon. Oh! Stormcloak camp. Do I have that on my map? I don't. Okay. Uh... Maybe I should go back and try and find the other camp as well. See, this is annoying. I'm pretty sure the camps disappear after the Civil War thing is done. So you kind of want to locate all of them. Uh, this annoys me a little bit. Let's not get in a fight real quick. I don't really want to. Just want to find your camp. Please? Pale Stormcloak camp. Hmm. It's really bothering me, actually. All right, let's go do this fort thing, because I'm pretty sure that the next quest after this is like a big one. And so we'll take a moment after the next quest to go through and try to find all the camps, because apparently they do exist. And I didn't think that they did, which I guess was dumb of me because I should have expected it. Is that really another troll? 
Alright. Sup, dude. Wow, I missed. I deserve that. I deserve to be punched in the face for missing that badly. Yeah. Okay. What? Just what? Cultists? Oh my god. We're not doing this now, are we? Have I already gotten this information? Or... I'll get the cultist set, I guess, but... Oh my god. We're not doing this right now. This is not supposed to happen at the moment. You have a human heart. That's interesting. Wait, where's the other cultist? Oh, up there. Ow. They put down a rune. You won't win as they die. Okay. It's not what I thought it was then. Uh, that's for a DLC. Those characters. And I know they can appear in random events, but... Honestly, I didn't expect it to happen, like, right then. That's weird. Can't wait to gut one of oh, hey, have fun. Can you believe this place? So cold my breath turns to icicles. What are we even doing up here? Guess Tullius wants to make sure everything is locked down before launching a serious campaign for East March. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. We're outnumbered again. More so than when we took that wagon. But if we work together, we can pull this off. Ah, uh, just let me do it, though. There's a grate outside the wall. Looks like it used to be buried in snow. I don't think they know it's there. From the look of it, I bet it leads straight into the prison. Oh man, wouldn't that be I interesting? Sneak in there and free our men, killing anyone inside as you go. Once you've rescued the prisoners, head out to the courtyard. We'll stand guard out here and rush in as soon as we hear fighting. Okay. Talos preserve you. Stay alert. Get until the Empire's those dogs might charge Skyrim. I thought that was a dragon for a second there, and I was just like, please, no. There goes all of my stuff. <laughs> that would be pretty amazing. Don't do that game. You know, if you're thinking about spawning a dragon right now, just, just don't. For a little while, we literally just fought one. The game has a really annoying habit of spawning a ton of dragons, especially for me. Alright. So I need to get right up here. If we take a right, there's a hidden grate. And we go into the prison. From here, it's not really about stealth. Wait, is this steel? Wow. That's interesting. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to, but you don't really have to steal or uh, sneak through this area. You can pretty much kill anybody you want. Oh, there's a key here. I will take that. Sneaky, sneaky. I will break you. I don't, that was terrible. There was no guard. No guards at all. Weird. Let's teach these bastards a lesson. All right. Last but not least, let's go. All right. Now we just take over the fort like normal. Which way do you guys go? You go that way. Wait. Where do you go? What are you all doing? Oh, you're getting your equipment. Okay. Yeah. No, that's super smart, actually. All right. Wait, who's this? Oh my god, Lydia. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. 
All right. I think we're pretty much good. And now we take out the people in the fort just like normal. Oh, hi there. You weren't expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Or, or me, I guess. Wait, is there a limited amount of people here? Did I just kill two people in one hit? That never happens. What? What? E excuse me, game? Does it know how much health I had? I'm I'm calling horse shit on that. There's really weird stuff that happens like that sometimes. Where it's just like, <laughs> hey, watch it. Where it's just like a almost instant kill, essentially. What's up, horse? Just, just move, please. I don't want to hurt you, horsey. I mean, if I have to, I will, I guess, but I won't like it. Oh, hi. Why do these have things on them specifically? All right. I, I guess I better keep my health up just in case like one crits me into insta death or something. Because apparently that's a thing. Right? Are, are you saying that to me or to them? Like, did I accidentally hit you? I might have. I do that a lot, actually. We good? Sweet. Sorry, Lydia, if I hit you. I didn't mean to. Was that Hadvar? He just got here? Really? Where are you going? Great work. Get back and report our success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Keep an eye out. Storm Couldn't spies. have done it without you. Okay. Oh, report to General Tullius. Okay, well, before we do that, let's go see if we can find the other place. It's supposed to be just north of the Serethi camp. Let's see if it exists now. Yeah, okay. So it's only after you push them back. How weird. All right, well, at least we'll get them now. We'll have it on our radar. That means the other way also is valid. Like, that means there are certain Imperial camps that probably don't exist. Rift Stormcloak camp. Um, so that's the pale. That means there has to be other Stormcloak camps, like a Winterhold Stormcloak camp probably exists. In fact, let me look up real quick, because the easiest way to check this would probably be to go in here. And let's just see locations not discovered. What have I not found yet? Talking Stone Clamp, Winterhold Storm Cloak Camp. Okay. Haven't found that yet. East March Imperial Camp. Okay, so there's two things I haven't found yet. East March Imperial and Winter Her Winterhold Stormcloak. Let's find those real quick because I, as soon as I end this, like, that's that. Okay, I found them. So first one we got to find, the East March Imperial Camp. That should be right around here. So we'll appear there. And we can move around and find it. So it should be... Wait. Oh, is it further up than this? Did I make a dumb? Hmm. No, I think it is actually, if we just hug the wall, 
I head north. It'll it'll be along this direction. Oh, okay. That was that was weird. Just random dude fighting. Oh, okay. Oh, you're not explode. No, you are exploding. Oh, it was a witch. She lose control of her Atronach? Did, or is she just fighting one randomly? Weird. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't do that one. Oh, there's like a camp up here and everything. Wow. Oh, you know what? That might be the other camp that's like... I, I'm i genuinely floored by the amount of things that I have not found yet. Because there's so little... I'm genuinely, like, super happy about that. So, you know what? We're probably... We're probably gonna go long on this episode, and we're just gonna find a couple of things real quick before we end the war. Because, believe it or not, we are very, very close to ending the war. We pretty much only have, like, one more quest to do. And then the war is over. So, before we do that real quick... Oh my god, the wind noise up here. It's really high. This is last vigil. What is this? Just a frost troll. Okay. So frost troll dead. A pickaxe. What is this? I genuinely don't know what this area is. I mean, I've probably found it before, but... Huh, okay, well. Last Vigil crossed off the list. I, see, we're so close that I'm almost like, I don't want to find them all. Because location's not discovered. What do we have left? Just East March into that list. Um... Okay, a few things there. Two of those are um, main quest related, so we'll find them. I don't know what Talking Stone Camp is. Not off the top of my head, anyway. Hmm. I have to look that up. Just wow. I can't believe we're almost done. It makes me happy. All right, just a spriggin down here. You're just waiting for us? What a dick. Well, that's what you get for waiting, I guess. No, you cute fox. I don't want to fight you. So the East March Imperial Camp is going to be over here somewhere. Thankfully, Sky Complete actually, like, keeps an eye on which camps I can actually find. Because obviously some of them won't exist depending on, you know, what you're doing in the game. I'm glad they do show up there, though. So let's find this before we're done with uh, Civil War. Mm. Have we passed it? Are we too far away? Well, this is going down the mountain at this point. Oh no, I feel the sneeze coming on. <laughs> oh god. Alright, hold on. Is it down the mountain? Oh, yeah, it might be, actually. In fact, it might be a lot closer to that than I thought. So if I go north from here... Never should have come oh my god. Like... Just stop. Why are you such a mean person? I just wanted to travel. And then you had to be all annoying. Oh, there's a thing that we haven't found up here yet. 
I have a feeling most of the things I haven't found yet are up here. There we go. Oh, there's more things up here I haven't found yet. More trolls. Lots of trolls. Let's just skip past you guys real quick. Because I don't... They'll, they'll chase after me. Oh, and there's the camp right down there. Okay, fantastic. So it's right actually near whatever this is. Oh my god, I'm so close to having all the locations. I might legitimately just... Yep, there's... Kagrenzel? Kagrenzel? I don't actually know what that is. I mean, it, it seems like it would be a Draugr place, but... It's got the icon and spelled like a Dwemer ruin. I was under the impression we were done with all the Dwemer stuff because... Well, frankly, we've just done everything. There's no more miscellaneous quests. Ooh, unless there's like a main quest that happens there. That is possible. Though a little improbable. Right, well, let's get these camps before we end the war. Because again, I don't know if they disappear when the war's over, and I'd rather them not... Because, man, would that be annoying just to, like, be unable to finish my map? What? Hell yeah. Bam. East March Imperial Camp. Okay. And then the last place that we want to find is just up here. This is the last camp. Then we'll go report to General Tullius. And start our march. Yep, there it is. Just south of here. And then we'll take... We'll take Windhelm. And most importantly, we'll kill Ulfric. Just, like, straight murder him. I guess I need to check if... See if I can get Tullius' armor. Like, any other way. Does Tullius disappear? I don't think he does. Put away my weapon. I don't want to fight you guys. Okay, good. Sweet. Every camp is on my map. Every camp that I can get, anyway. What? Why? Who's an enemy? Oh, more wolves. Okay, there we go. Alright, nope, there's no way to get it. That's fine. We'll just complete Civil War then. Oh man, he plays mean. Don't play with him, kid. I'm doing the right thing. No one likes a jerk. Mind yourself. I'll be honest, so if you go the other way, they all, like, sort of occupy solitude, and I never like that. Garrison some troops there until I'm ready to march on Windhelm. I have come to rely heavily upon you. It is only fitting that you join the upper echelon. I am hereby elevating you to the rank of Legate. Well, I thank you. On behalf of the Empire and myself, please accept this gift along with your new rank. Another shitty weapon. Or armor, Pierce. Yep. The steel armor! Wow, you guys skimped out on that one. You've little time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering our final assault on Windhelm. Report to our camp in East March. Oh man, I just found that place. I can go right back there. <laughs> Makes it real easy when you've already been there, right? Just fast travel. Bam. Easy peasy. Beautiful cover girl. I mean, what? All right, let's see what the legate has to say. I don't think we have any more things. We're just taking wind home, right? Have, your objective is the enemy held fort. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the rebels. 
Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you oh, up to the Oh, okay. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Oh, okay, never mind. There is another. Oh my god, please don't. Are you fucking kidding me? I just... Are we sure the dragons aren't working with the storm cloaks at this point? Because, like... I think they're trying to win the war for them, personally. Oh my god. I hate this so much. I don't know what happened to me. Like, when I first played this game, I was totally fine with with dragons. Maybe it's just the special edition. Because it feels like there's way more of them. Come on, just land again. I hope the Legate can't die. That would be that would suck, actually. Come on, just land. Thank you. Well, we'll deal with these guys soon enough. Because, uh, dragons? Well, they're kind of our next, uh... thing on the chopping block. Lydia! I got some shit for you! Wait, where is you? Lydia? Thank there you are. She disappeared. Appealed? Disappealed? Alright, here we go. Take these really heavy bones and scales. Thank you. Let's get going then. And now, where's Fort Amol? Uh. Okay, well, up here at the abandoned prison. <laughs> Walk the rest of the way. Well, okay, that's one way to appear in an area, I guess. With glorious fanfare. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Just... Wow. Martin, 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 yeah. I still think that fits so much better than the actual lyrics. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Who said anything about trouble? Now get out of my face. I just wanted the persuasion there. It's so rare that you get, like, opportunities for persuasion that I feel like anytime that they're available, you should take them. It's very strange. You can't usually up increase uh, persuasion by using persuasion. You usually have to do it via mercantile. Isn't that weird? I think it's strange. Alright, I'll break these for you guys. You guys are kind of incapable of it. There we go. Oh, yeah. It makes our lives so much easier. As we just run through them all with hammers. Damn it. You just shield bash me? Listen, for that, you get just smacked in the shoulders with this hammer. Listen, no one wants to be hit by this hammer, let's be honest. It's ungodly large. I mean, look at that. With a swing of that force, like, oh man, it must be painful. I mean, they do die, basically instantly. Oops, I think I hit one of them. Okay, dead, dead. Oh, it's always weird when they spawn in in front of you. But you know what? That's fine. Oh, I, I think I just need him in the face from the top of the stairs. That was an accidental death, too. 
I don't know if that guy was actually hitting anyone. Oh! Thankfully he didn't, like, crit me. There we go. I'll just chug these potions in a blink of an eye. You know. As is normal. Can, can you guys not do that? I guess not. Admittedly, if they were all as reality warping as the uh, Dragonborn is, man, <laughs> this game would not go well for uh, you. We good? Are we done? Oh, I don't know where you came from, but you'll be gone now. Ow. Man. Oh, that does hit multiple of them. Sideways, that's right, sideways power attacks hit more than one person now. Oh, that's cool. Why have I never done that before? Regain East March. So where are we going? I, oh, I report back to the Legate. Okay. We're at the very end, folks. We're definitely ending the Civil War in this episode. I can't wait to kill another Volfrid's Good job. I knew I gave the mission to the right person. Yep. We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it! And there we go. The battle for Windhelm has started. And General Tullius is right in front of the city. As you can see, you cannot uh, fast travel into Windhelm at this point. Now, I'll be honest. I've always done it for the Stormcloaks. I've never actually fought Ulfric. Can he shout at you? I imagine yes, right? What is that? Oh, regain East March. I was like, what is that all the way? In a weird spot. Oh. So they've taken up all the way to the bridge, huh? You guys have done a lot. Okay. Well, let's hear his glorious speech to bolster the men. A weird speech. Everyone with me for the Empire. <laughs> All right, and we go. Do I feel great about killing the storm cloaks here? Not really. I honestly thought the game just crashed there for a second. Because it just locked up, you know? Okay, we're going to do this real quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just in case there's some weirdness there. All right, well. Do we actually have to help them? Yeah, this dude. Oh, my God. He got wrecked. I don't think we actually have to fight anyone, do we? All right. Can't go up the main way? 
Uh, it means we have to go around. Oh, I can't go that way. That's annoying. All right, we'll go in this way then. Oh, I guess. Oh, I see. We'll we'll take them all ourselves. I mean, in reality, I guess I don't actually have to help the, any of them. Come on, everybody. Gotta push through these barriers. I know the way around. I own a house here. So, also, I guess at the end of this episode, we can become Thane of Windhelm, finally. Ow. Oh! Imperial soldier just spawned over here to heal ourselves a little. There we go. Running through. I'll be honest, I don't like living here anyway. Wow, just like... Oh, you know what? Use the new tactic! Hit everybody at once! Oh! That's so effective! You're a really effective murder hole, I'm not gonna lie. I'm dead? Ooh! You know what? I'm just gonna skip past you guys and go straight into the Palace of Kings. Alright, Ulfric. citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. We're here to accept Ulfric. Oh no, Galmar. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying Empire. Skyrim doesn't belong to you, Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough! You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution, or advance and face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? It's true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so we fight. Oh, he does shout! Look at that! I mean, he missed me! That's kind of funny. Honestly, Ulfric is kind of weak. I'm gonna check you for any goodies. You have officer stuff, but I already have all that. Sovngarde. Well, let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Oh. Song or not. I oh. Done. Why? Here, use my sword to do it. You know what? I'll do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. <laughs> All right, Stor Jarl. I'm not gonna use your sword. You use my fucking hammer. <laughs> and then we search him because. Oh man. That's randomly made, but oh my dear god, that's so perfect for Ulfric. And we're gonna take his unique clothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. You got some respect. Yeah. Yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm will need a government quickly. We are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Leggett. It's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. 
Yeah, no problem. Your sword's not that great. And there we go. We're done. Skyrim is reunified. Let's hear uh, the general's speech, shall we? Let's put it this way. He's not a great public speaker. <laughs> His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary What about service, the actual embers? I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. I am proud of all That's nice. I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope <laughs> There's bound to be resistance. There are many stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. I pray you're right. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. Thank you. And there we go. The Civil War is over. Good job out there. Glad you and everybody just sort of stands around. They're we like, sure what are we doing now? I guess we're here. All right. Yeah, and that's literally it. Can we now fast? Oh, we can't fast travel here. In these grave times, each How do we... must be his better self at all times and under mm -hmm. all conditions. No. Yeah, what do we do now? Can I, I talk to you guys? Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold hmm. or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of That's important. Man down to his true self. Ulfric is dead and his army destroyed. Okay. There's not much more I could ask of you. The gods, however, I suspect, may have plans for you elsewhere. That said, Stormcloak true believers are still operating out of hidden military camps in the hills. If you encounter any of your travels, kill them. With luck, they'll soon lose heart and return to their homes and families. If not, we'll be forced to put them all to the sword. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large, the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. But we'll keep that between the two of us, alright? Dismiss. See, I like Tullius because he's very, very pragmatic about everything. He realizes what this whole situation is about, and I truly believe it when Talia says he just wants peace. Like, he's, he's harsh, and he doesn't really understand the Nords all that much, but like, he doesn't want to kill them all. And I truly believe it. I mean, like, he's won the war. There's no reason for him to, you know, put up a face anymore, and he doesn't. I don't think that's the same of Ulfric. I think Ulfric is in it for his own glory, and if there were any extra opposition, he would just kill them flat out and continue killing them. He doesn't care about peace. I think Tullius overall is better for Skyrim, but the Empire is not, if that makes any sense. The generals put me in charge of assisting the new governments. I may understand things here in Skyrim better than the general, but I'm a soldier at heart. Not a politician, but I'll do my best. This is the land of my birth, the land that shaped me. I'm proud to have any part in making it strong. 
even Rika actually, you know, cares about it. You know, she gave like a prayer for Ulfric and everything, so she's on the good side. If while you're out there, there are those the ordinary, and they should. Enjoy yeah, the same, she says the same things. I suspect all of town sits again. Okay. Sorry, Lydia. So let's see. Do we get access to uh, Windhelm again? Do we have to fast travel away from here? Hmm. I guess I have to fast travel away? Is there anything left here? No, we're good there. Um... Wow, okay, yeah, I guess diplomatic immunity is the next. Right, and we're infiltrating the Thalmor embassy in the next thing. Let me just fast travel away and see if it's uh, gonna fix things. I do wanna check out Windhelm. I wanna go get ourselves our Thane ship um, because we should be ready to go. As soon as they establish the other Thane, that's it. Or the other Jarl, rather. Okay, here we go. Now we can fast travel to Windhelm. Still have the house there. Still everything as normal. Yeah, I do believe uh, Windhelm still kind of burns. Also, like, the annoying, like, walls that are locked off and everything. The same doesn't happen to... Um, Solitude, I don't think. At least I don't remember Solitude being, like, super walled off and everything. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Alright, here we are. I don't like talking to someone who holds their honor so I'm sure you do. Being in exile Excuse me? Most humiliating thing I've experienced in my life. I'm keeping oh, my eye on you. need something? Can an old man have some peace? I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. I wish I could say that it was, but it's what not do you want? that simple. Caused enough trouble. Oh, right. These are all of the, uh... You have I feel so yeah, bad. these are all the, the old Jarls. They're just here. I failed them. Unmid and Anuriel shouldn't blame themselves for Riften's fall. I, I hope the wilds claim you one of these days. days. I mean, Anuriel should. She literally... helped it fall. Stormcloak stuff, Stormcloak stuff. Hmm. Yes, yes. Where is our uh, new Jarl? Where is he? Duh. Hey, no mind. I'm the least important person in here. I feel so helpless out here. The people of Riften depended on me. And I I'm very confused. I know I came in at lunch, but also like. I'm pretty sure that, that that's supposed to be that. Uh, you're nothing but trouble. Where's the guy who takes over? I should bash your face in. Scald. Well, Ulfric. But you just yeah, they're they're really kind of annoying. Well Does Ulfric have what you need? Strength and steel <laughs> are well and good. Ulfric's kind of is not. Not here anymore. I don't know where he ends up. I mean, I, I may have to look this up and see where he plants down in. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, did they lock them out? <laughs> that would that would be insane, but also hilarious. Viola's house, Clan Shatter Shield. I mean, we are back to normal here, right? Aside from the fires everywhere. <laughs> oh no, we're not. Um, am I missing something? Like, does it just take Windhelm a long time to recover? Or I, 
I don't know what's going on, actually. All right. Well, in any case, uh, in the next episode, we'll clean up a couple of things and then we'll meet Delphine in Riverwood and we'll continue on with the main story. So, uh, yeah, we'll spend some time in solitude in uh, our nice house. And next up on the docket is the main quest. So we're going to start doing that. Um, and after we're done the main quest, we got a couple things we get, we can clear up and I'm thinking, at least this is my plan. I want to use this as an opportunity to make some really, really good weapons armor and level up all of our skills to 100, you know, really take it to the next step, I essentially do the effective leveling or efficient leveling stuff there. It's not really going to be efficient leveling um, because that's not really such a thing, but I'll, I'll make like an episode on what the best ways are to train all of your skills. Hopefully by the end of it, we'll be able to do all of the master trainers that exist in the College of Winterhold because they all have quests. And uh, after that, we'll probably end up making all of our houses for Hearthfire. So we'll do Hearthfire first because that also fulfills adopting a child and getting married as well. Um, and after that, uh, Dawnguard. And after that, Dragonborn. And Dragonborn will be a very, very long thing. Um, I think I'm tempted to take a break after Skyrim, but we'll see how that's going to go uh, after the main quest, uh, especially because if like leveling up is going to take a long, long time. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.